my channel, so today I'm going to be filming a how to customize your MacBook video. This video has a bunch of great tips and tricks on how to personally customize your MacBook to make it aesthetically pleasing or to increase your levels of productivity. I also included a tip for other YouTubers if you are uploading videos to YouTube, just a quick way how to do that. If you think that any of those things sound interesting or helpful, definitely keep watching. If you do find this video helpful and you did enjoy, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really, really helps my channel out. And yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too much more, so let's just get into the video. Okay, so before I get too into it, I just want to say that I have the MacBook Air and I believe it's the 2019 edition. It just has the little finger touch ID right here to unlock it. It doesn't have the power bar or like the touch bar that the Pro has. Um, but I absolutely love this laptop. Okay, so this is an overview of my laptop. Um, I don't know why it's making this... There you go, it's kind of gone. I don't know. Um, but right now my background is just a super gray, um, minimalistic background. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I like things super clean, super just minimal. This app right here, this is a YouTube tip. I'm just gonna share this with you guys. This isn't about customization or anything. This is basically a YouTube tip. If you are a YouTuber and you struggle uploading your videos fast, say it takes hours, this is like my secret. I've literally been using this for years. Um, so you, what you want to do is you just, it's called Handbrake, you can download it from um, the internet. Basically it just makes your videos compressed so they upload so much faster onto YouTube. Mine personally upload within like under 10 minutes no matter the length. So I can do vlog and um, I can literally just click start and see obviously it says it already exists because I've already done it but that's all you do it does take like I'd say like 20-30 minutes to do this but in the grand scheme of things uploading to YouTube is so much faster because of it and then my dock I pretty much have everything I think I took away FaceTime um, my messages are connected to my laptop but I just keep them closed and like quit at all times just because I hate having the little dots at the bottom. So I personally use Google Chrome instead of Safari. When you open up my Google Chrome, um, I just have these shortcuts at the bottom. This is like, if you're familiar with it, it's like a blog that I like to read for different stuff. And I just have my YouTube subscriptions. This is my YouTube like analytics and channel, all that. And then my social blade analytics. And then up at the top here, these are my bookmarks and I just have Thematic, which is where I get all of my um, music for YouTube. If you're familiar with this, this is basically where every YouTuber gets their music. It is so, so helpful. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to add this Google Chrome extension onto your computer. And this basically allows you to have a to-do list. It tells you the weather. It'll give you the time. It gives you quote. It's just super cute. I go into Google and you just wanna type in momentum. And it comes up right away, Momentum Screensaver. And it's basically a Google Chrome extension, so it will only work on Google Chrome. And you guys have probably seen this everywhere, but I literally used to love this. So helpful. What you wanna do is you just wanna add to Chrome, add extension. Okay, so this is what it comes up as. Then obviously it says good afternoon. You can put your main focus of the day. It tells you the time, gives you a little quote of the day. But my favorite part is you can add to do's. Um, so let's say I want to film Mac book video. Okay, so then I have my to-do list right here and I'm filming it so I can check it off. So yeah, if you want this, it's called Momentum. Okay, so next I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a background on your MacBook. And a lot of different people are into different kinds of backgrounds, whether that is a collage or just a one solid photo, a photo from Pinterest, or a personal photo that you have taken a view of your friends. I'm basically gonna show you guys how to do that. This I literally just got from going to system preferences and then I go to desktop and screensaver. Normally you can just pick from these generic Apple ones um, or what I do is I just go to colors or you can pick a custom color. But if you wanted to find a different one, you can go onto Pinterest. You can Google MacBook wallpaper, let's say aesthetic. This one's kind of cute. Um, so you want to click this 
three dots, download, downloaded, and then again, go to system preferences. Then I personally like to move it to the desktop and then you can click, click it and click control and you wanna just click set desktop and there you go. So the third thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to get that analog clock screensaver. I've probably seen this other places before, but it is just the analog clock. It's super cute, and if you're not on your computer, it just changes the time for you, and it's really nice. So to get the analog clock, you wanna type in, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's called Flick Flicklo. It's just this website, or if you Google analog clock, um, screensaver, I'm pretty sure it comes up too, but this is basically the analog clock screensaver. Okay, and then scroll down, and so Mac, we want to download, open, and just click this saver, and click install, and right up here, this is where we just were for like the desktop settings, so if you go to screensaver, now it's right here, so, but you can put it as, so we're gonna click the click and there you go. That is how you get it. The last thing I'm going to be showing you guys is sticky notes. This is a complete lifesaver for me when I was in school and it was just a super great way to be able to organize each individual class, see what assignment is coming up, see what assignment is due. Basically, I just had all of my syllabus dates outlined for each class on this one sticky note. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and how to customize each sticky note. For this one, this one is just super duper easy. It's just I didn't know how to do this until like the beginning of last year. So there's these things on your um, MacBook called stickies. I personally use this for school. This is like my biggest organization tip for school. So whatever class I was taking, class code up here, and then all of the dates I would put here. So I'd say like paper due March 25th, blah, 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 all of that. Or you can do to-do list, you can change the color. So say I want it green, um, you can do to-do. You know, you want to walk dog, um, wash, sheets, just like so many things and it's super nice because you can also change the text, the font, all of that, the color of the stickies. It's a tip, you guys always have to leave the stickies open on your dock for it to work and pop up on your desktop. If you clear it from your dock, it will completely disappear. So. Just a little tip. So that was my video for today. I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video and found it somewhat helpful or you learned something new. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys did enjoy and it also supports my channel, so that'd be greatly appreciated. Once again, if you guys are new here, definitely be sure to subscribe to see all of my new videos coming soon. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.